Thanks, Wabochi. You said this would be a difficult one facing different pitchers every single night. How did they finally get this offense going tonight? You know, it, it was a tough uh, battle out there. I mean, their guy was throwing very well. And uh, Hill, I mean, at 43, that's pretty impressive. Uh, you know, just to log those strikeouts. But, you know, we got two early runs, and that's uh, that's always good to get, especially with Nate on the mound. You feel pretty comfortable, but it's good to add on. And uh, just a good comeback again, bounce back uh, by this club. And, you know, Josh, another uh, good night for him. It's, it's good to see his offense wake up. Let's start with Devaldi. He's setting the bar so high even for himself. Now we're all going to just say, oh, complete game every single time now. <laughs> right, right. You know, the, the key is uh, – it's just how efficiently he's pitching. I mean, 100, what, 101 pitches, uh, you know, we didn't really have a stressful inning. Um, you know, gave up to one run. Uh, but uh, beside that, it's pretty easy uh, work for him. And he just and it's such a good groove. It's fun to see really good pitchers that uh, get locked in. Josh joked after the game with me just about riding the wave whenever it hits. But how impressive is it that he's a young guy seeing new pitchers for the first time and still doing what he's doing right now? Yeah, it is. I mean, this kid, uh, he's a ball player. You know, you just love the way he comes out here every day and just works to get better and uh, gives you good at-bats. He lets it go when it's in the zone. And, you know, I, I really thought this kid would have a, a nice year. I know it's early, but uh, I still feel that way. Trust me. Yeah, no sophomore slump for him right now. Thanks. Appreciate it. it. Well, Nate, I just asked Butch about it, but you're setting the bar high for yourself. We're all going to expect a complete game every single time now. <laughs> How are you doing it? Um, I, I feel like Jonah's been doing a really good job of calling the game back there behind the plate. I, know, I mean, a lot of things have to go into a complete game. You know, we were able to score runs early. We had the lead, and uh, you know, anytime we have a lead, it's my job to try to prevent them from scoring. Um, we were able to open it up, I think, in the fifth or sixth inning and score some more runs. And when that happens, it's you know, just try to keep the pressure on them and keep attacking the guys. Uh, you know, we had some really big double play balls. Um, you know, we had the pickoff at first. We had the, you know, Jung had the two double play balls. Um, and Dolan was able to get him at second base right there towards the end. And I mean, anytime that that can happen for us, it's it's good for us. Incredibly efficient as well for you. How did it feel tonight? It seemed pretty effortless. I felt really good. Um, you know, before the game playing catch, and then even going into the bullpen, I felt really good. Um, I felt like the first inning or so, first two innings, I was kind of being a little too slow almost, and I was able to find my rhythm as the game went on and. Um, you know, the times I did fall behind, I was able to rely on the cutter and get out. I mean, we knew coming in that they were going to be real selective when it was 0-2, that they weren't going to chase too much. And, um, you know, that's one of the nice things with having the cutter is I'm able to stick that in there or the same with the splitter and get some early outs. So was there, was there one of the four you felt best about tonight or did, did you feel... I mean, I, I felt pretty good overall. Uh, the fastball, if anything, the curveball didn't feel very good, and I was able to use that towards the end and kind of mix that in there for the, you know, first pitch strike or even for a second strike. But um, I was able to rely on the cutter when I fell behind, and then the splitter and fastball early in the counts. Cutter when you fell behind. Mm -hmm. What's it like to have a dolly back there? Not even just the arm when he completes them, but the threat of it seemed to drive Jiwon kind of back to second base. Yeah, I mean, Cutchin hit that ball pretty hard over there, and I think he was being aggressive and, um, you know, given where the, where the score was and everything, being thrown out at third right there didn't, wouldn't be very good. So, um, you know, he might have been a little too aggressive, but, I mean, that's that's them. You know, they're aggressive on the base paths. They're aggressive, uh, you know, and when the ball's in contact. So you have you been in a groove? Have you been in a groove like this before? Have you felt this efficient, this effective ever in your career? I mean, no. Um, I think the closest time would have been in '18. You know, when I first got traded over there to the Red Sox, I had real, two really good starts, and then uh, you know, I had two speed bumps that I hit, and we were able to get back on track. And um, you know, the playoffs, I feel like, but that's a different atmosphere and everything. So, but um, you know, right now I feel like I'm really locked in, and you know, we're staying on top of the mechanics and just the little things, making sure that we're doing the days, you know, day and work.